All right, doing a video. Unspoken code of conduct, stuff like that. We all know you're not supposed to be racist and shit like that and whatever. It goes on, it goes on, right? Everybody knows that. Hate speech and whatever. You know, as long as you're not being racist about it and whatever, you can call anybody anything, right? As long as it's not detrimental of who they are as a person, things like that. You know, just the gamer, right? But as for these penalties and, you know, for possibly disbanding an outfit and all that because of outfit wars, you can just jam that up your ass, right? I personally will never play outfit wars again. For one reason, too. I'm most probably going to have to leave pigs, okay? This is the reason. Even though I may not be in Outfit Wars, if somehow pigs did collude or whatever, I am the leader, so I can lose my account. So it looks like I will most probably go back to Par Rider Outfit, which is the outfit I used to be in. I've still got it. It's in TR. And um, I'll stay on TR until my 12 months boosts and all that are over. Then I'll mostly jump over the NC, okay, and play NC and attack VS there, right? But as for Outfit Wars, no, I won't be in it. As for Rao and whatever, I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. I don't think he knows, all right? I mean, here's the thing, guys. A streamer can be streaming you, and all they've got to say is collusion, collusion, collusion. You know what I mean? All right? It, you know, where do you draw the line? What can considered? I mean, I went, my, mine was obvious, it, obvious, obvious, right? But what about the guys that's not so obvious, but yeah, maybe something's going on, but maybe not, right? You know, you can drive a truck through this. I think this is the end of Outfit Wars, in all honesty. Um, a lot of people don't like what's happened, right? Uh, I think they've made a big mistake. I think collusion should be allowed, right, in Outfit Wars. Uh, I think this could possibly be Maybe. I mean, I hope not, but this could be the end of the game. All right? A lot of people are going to read this and say, you can jam Planet Side 2. All right? A lot of people will read it and say that. I won't. I've put eight years into it. But if you're a player, not put a lot, like maybe a couple of years in and whatever, you know, you might really say, stuff this. You know, this is too much. You don't know. We don't know where this is going. The game... These new set of outfit wars, right, was designed to bring the new, the smaller outfits into it, right? If they didn't want to do any of this drama happen, they should have left it the way it was, right in the beginning, where we all slugged it out, right? And if you got knocked out, you got knocked out. They should never have changed the game. I've said that from the first time I won gold outfit wars. We should never have changed it. We should have left it the way it was. But, yeah, now look at it, right? There were so many no-shows, and it never brought the population. When that first outfit war started, there were three continents open, right? And it just never brought the population back, not to Connery anyway. Well, all I can say is, Raoul, man, I think you bloody uh, screwed the goose here. A lot of people are not happy, right? No one wants to be dictated to, right, about things. You know, this game is based on collusion, the whole thing, right? Uh, double teamed all the time. Right, from NC or VS. You know, you're even allowed to have spies in people's outfits. It's part of the game. You know, t telling what so and so is doing or whatever, or things like that. I mean, you have a spy saying the pigs are going to be here. So all the enemy goes there to fight the pigs because they know that, you know, they're going to be there or whatever, you know. Things like that. We get people, I mean, what, what is clue? Is, is if you're allowed to jump into an outfit, Right, join the outfit, then jump on. All right, that's where they are. Jump off, get on your NC or VS account and come and bloody kill them all. Right, because you know what's going on. That's collusion. At the end of the day, this is the end of Outfit Wars, I think. I can't participate, right? I cannot ever, you know, anything. You know, you, you get one streamer yelling and screaming, right? And I take my word for it. It would never be. These are the streamers that I trust fully, 100%. And that is Kamikaze, 78. Chuck Chuck Baller, right? Sirius, right? Ash, right? Ashley TV. Those four guys, 
you walk at their stations, best. They do the best job, right? They don't go over the top and, you know, they don't, how can I say, they're not opinionated. That's a good word for it. These guys aren't opinionated. Like, if you, you know, they all do their own separate thing in a different way. Like Chuck Ball, a wall paint gamer, he does his show the way he does it, right, with his paint and that, you know, and things like that, right? You've got Kamikaze, he does a bit of gameplay or if something new comes along, he tries to explain it. Then You know, um, Ash does all sorts of things, right, on his station, you know, on Twitch, right? All these guys have got YouTubes and Twitch, follow them. Sirius is the same. Sirius is most probably, I have to say Sirius is most probably taken over from where Rao left, right? If something new comes along or whatever, and he gives explanation, uh, Sirius goes quite deep into the game. But these four people on Twitch and things are the people that I trust. And, you know, they may not agree with what I've done, but they've not bloody carried on about it. You know what I mean? Where I won't say any names. Maybe one streamer thought they could get some, you know, extra bloody members or whatever, or run a bit of mile with this or get somewhere with it. Yeah, that was the wrong thing to do. That did nothing. Here's the thing. It's most probably done damage to the game. All right? As for my Kalu, I, I did it. I was allowed to. I didn't do anything wrong. You know, end of story. But um, yeah, I I can't participate. I may not even be able to stay in the outfit. I almost have to go back to Power Riders and that. But that's all I'm saying on the subject. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, we don't make the rules. I doubt they'll change this, even if the game dies. Remember this, right? They didn't buy Daybreak for Planet Side. Okay, Planet Side was never. It was a gift to the to the new CEO or whatever, whoever bought the company. Okay, they didn't they didn't pay money for it, right? They paid, they bought the company. They wanted the other games mainly, and that that was the main thing, and that. So I've been told I could be wrong on that, but that's what I've been told. As for anything being really spent on this and whatever where it's going in the future, I don't know. All right, um, I mean they're not going to shut it down, but I don't know if it's going to be going to get better. I mean if this is the indication what's going to happen then obviously it's not going to get better. All right? Uh, yes, a lot of the code of conduct that's written in, that's always been there, is definitely, yes, you've got to go by it, right? But as for the Outfit War, where they brought the code of conduct for Outfit Wars, no, I think it's rubbish, right? What they're asking. I think it's, well, it, it's turned a fun game like Outfit Wars into not so fun. All right, so I'll leave it at that. Okay, 